Yeah, oh, everything. Uh, now I'm back to 100% football, and, and, and that's all I'm worrying about now. So I don't have to go back up to Gainesville for treatments or anything. So everything means. So there's my uh, my medical oncologist, Dr. Lagme. Uh, she's the one that created my treatment plan and um, all that kind of stuff. So she was the one that worked with me very closely throughout the whole process. Oh yeah, I'm incredibly grateful. They did everything from Dr. Yeomans, one of the team docs. He's the guy that first saw the cysts, and then Dr. Gibbs, who's the medical uh, orthopedic oncologist who diagnosed it and did the, my biopsy. Um, Dr. Lagme, my medical oncologist, and then Lawrence Staley, uh, my LPN, um, not an LPN, a uh, nurse practitioner who set up all my treatments, did all the details oriented stuff, and then of course all the nurses and all the other staff were fantastic. Yeah, tons of support around the league. Uh, Tim Howard, Clint Irwin, Matt Lampson, who's also a cancer survivor. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really uh, cool when guys like that reach out to you and show you support, uh, their support. So I was, I was very grateful for it. During the whole process, not really. I never thought of myself as a, the inspiration. I could see why uh, I could be one, but I never thought of myself as an inspiration. I was just doing what, how, taking the whole treatment process and everything how I wanted to take it, which is continue to play as much as possible and not let it stop me from doing what I love to do, so. Yeah, so first practice back was Friday before Montreal, and everyone, you know, came up, gave me a hug when I got there, and congratulations, and, you know, everyone smiling and happy for me, so. Uh, yeah, so the hardest part for me was uh, when I'm out here, my hemoglobin, the oxygen in your blood is like, range anywhere from like 50 to 70 percent of uh, a normal person's uh, oxygen in the blood so it's a lot more difficult to to physically exert yourself because obviously you have much less oxygen so that was the most difficult part about coming out it did at the beginning a little bit um but i maybe once or twice but i just pushed those thoughts aside and so i wouldn't say much yeah so it's been six or seven months and um, without being able to play fully and now I'm still waiting for my blood counts to recover for my hemoglobin to come back so once that comes back then I'll feel that I'm fully fit and uh, ready to play so, but once that happens I'll just get back on the field and, and get out on the game field not just the training field that's that's what I want to do and that's what I will do